Comedian Ben Stiller grew up in Manhattan and these days lives there with his own family. In 2016, he dropped over $15 million on a house-sized condo in a brand new luxury building in the West Village. His full floor property boasts well over 3,000 square feet with four bedrooms and many other high-class amenities. It said he and his wife still own a modest home in Studio City, a 14-acre spread in Hawaii, and a sprawling 10,000 square foot colonial mansion in the ritzy Westchester County area of New York. Also, Michael and I just dropped our very own house tour of our new home and we moved in this year. So if you'd like to see that, go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel and you can see where we're living and more of what we're up to. Oh, and once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ben Stiller is an actor, comedian, producer, director, and screenwriter who is the son of the late comedians and actors Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira. As of earlier this year, Ben was working on a documentary about his parents after they passed away, which is an opportunity for him to reflect on his upbringing with them in New York City. Despite selling his parents' longtime home where he also grew up as a child, Ben still lives in the city with his wife Christine Taylor and their children these days as opposed to Hollywood. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Ben Stiller calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In 2016, Ben Stiller purchased the Manhattan home he's still reportedly living at today, a massive house-sized condo on a high level of a New York City building. He and his wife paid over $15.3 million for the full floor residence, and at the time he moved in, the luxury building was brand new with all the bells and whistles you'd expect. Located in the West Village neighborhood, this popular area boasts trendy restaurants, designer shops, and even some cobblestone streets. Ben's upscale family home spends $3,300 and 95 square feet of space with four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms throughout, each sleeping quarter coming complete with its own ensuite. The interiors of the impressive condo boast hardwood flooring and walls of windows, and past the gallery entrance, you'll find the combination living and dining room. This space spans well over 500 square feet all on its own and overlooks the Hudson River through a bank of floor to ceiling windows that stretch nearly 30 feet. The spacious kitchen, which is attached yet completely separate, is decked out in a combination of white marble and custom walnut cabinets, also boasting a breakfast bar. It opens at one end to a casual dining area which also has more full walls of windows. All of the guests or family bedrooms in here not only have their own bathroom, but they have more east-facing floor-to-ceiling windows. Ben and Christine's master suite is spacious with west-facing windows, occupying its own entire wing. The primary suite offers a private sitting area, three closets, one of which is a walk-in, and stunning ensuite with his and hers vanity, glass shower stall, a deep soaking tub, and heated marble flooring underfoot. Elsewhere, there's also an office. Just as impressive as his condo is, the 15-story building offers the residents plenty of exclusive perks. This includes a covered driveway and parking garage, 24-hour concierge and doorman, and a cozy yet sprawling walnut and white oak lobby with huge fireplace and about 40,000 square feet of private green outdoor space. Other amenities include a fitness center with sauna and steam rooms, spa room, yoga studio, and juice bar, and a 75-foot indoor lap Pool. Basically, Ben's living situation is just really, really ridiculously good looking. Back in 2008, the Stillers also purchased a getaway property for $10 million, located about 40 miles from Manhattan in the upscale Westchester County community of Chappaqua, New York. From aerial views, we can see the sprawling 33 acre property with the large colonial mansion that comes with it, which spans 10,500 square feet of space inside. This scenic country spread is no doubt the perfect place for Ben and his family to escape to whenever the city or being famous is feeling like too much. The actor purchased the spread from a non-famous couple, Theodore and Ilona Muldoon. Mrs. Muldoon isn't completely unknown, however, she's a bookkeeper and she was convicted of embezzling over $15 million from her employer in 2007. Since she was sent to prison, maybe that's why this couple had to sell their lavish estates. The property boasts a long tree-lined driveway as well as rolling lawns and a circular 
drive right in front of the classic main mansion, which was built back in 1913. The home was updated in the early 2000s and likely the Stillers have done some upgrades and renovations of their own since. The main house offered nine bedrooms and nine full baths, along with two half baths, as well as three floors throughout. Old listing photos show a spacious foyer with grand staircase and hardwood floors, and there are also formal living and dining rooms, which both boast fireplaces, while another fireplace is actually located in the library. Elsewhere, the mansion has a family room which attaches to the kitchen. The kitchen here has a butler's pantry, stainless steel appliances, and a large center island. Ben's master suite has another fireplace, which is also spacious, with dual dressing rooms and his and hers bathrooms. At the time the Stillers purchased this estate, there were two guest staff cottages on the property, each with two bedrooms, as well as a separate carriage house and a barn. Amenities on the grounds include a fenced-in swimming pool, pool house, playground for the kids with a huge jungle gym, a tennis court, and a two-hole golf course. Back in 2011, Ben sold one of his Los Angeles homes to none other than actor Jason Statham for $7.3 million, which was part of a two-mansion compound he owned in the affluent community of Outpost Estates in Beverly Hills. The property he sold to Statham was a 1929 Spanish-style home that was reworked with some custom style for the Stillers by the design firm Roman and Williams. Inside, there were four bedrooms and 4.5 baths, within about 5,334 square feet of space, along with plenty of stylish common areas, including a gorgeous living room with a wood-beamed ceiling and fireplace. There was also a cozy den and a period-style kitchen with more soaring beamed ceilings, as well as some white brick, upscale appliances, and a sunny breakfast nook on one end. The lower level of the mansion boasted a home theater with state-of-the-art equipment, and elsewhere there was a library with a ton of built-in bookshelves, an office, and a fitness center. The property was walled and gated as you might expect, also featuring a detached garage with bonus guest quarters, and the grounds had a handful of alfresco living and dining areas too. There were fountains, terraces, bright tiled staircases, and much more, all of which was complete with a stunning swimming pool set in a secluded area below the house. The Outpost Estates neighborhood is located in the foothills between Hollywood and West Hollywood and has long been home to a bunch of stars and other high profile individuals, including Charlize Theron, Felicity Huffman, and William H. Macy. Despite selling this home and eventually the other mansion in the same compound, Ben is still said to own a small and modest house in Studio City, Los Angeles. All right, guys, well, that's going to bring us to the end of our Ben Stiller house tour. After checking out some of his homes, past and present from New York to Los Angeles, what did you think? Which property was your favorite? I think I like the New York country mansion best. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!